hey welcome back to another video it is jerry this is going to be an intro to the video so today's video is me sharing a few children's books that i have read and enjoyed so i hope you enjoy this video and if you like it if you enjoy it give it a thumbs up i i am a pre-k teacher and also a lover of children's books so i figured not many booktubers um, review or haul or talk about children's books, especially picture books. So I hope you like them and enjoy if you are a teacher and these are books that you will like, you know, let me know in the comments if you've read them or you're looking forward to read them. Um, and also give me some other picture books or children's books that you enjoy in the comments. And yeah, I will have, um, a great time going to the library and finding them as well as reading them and uh, if I have them at home I will be uh, picking them up so I hope you enjoy them hope you enjoy this video sorry and if you have any other picture books that you want me to read please share let me know and also if you enjoy children's books share uh, your favorites so I hope you enjoy and I will see you on the next video
this book is my name my name is a story by the singer <clears throat> ashanti <clears throat> excuse me and illustrator is monica mckay if that's how you pronounce it sorry sorry um but this story is about ashanti and of course her name she wants her name to be easy and to be different and to be you know um nor in her head normal she wants people to be able to pronounce it correctly and not have peop other kids laugh um at her name or make fun of it of course because my name is a little different and um i want people to pronounce my name correctly and so she goes home and she tells her mom about this like you know, mom, I want my name to be easy. I want my name to be uh, uh, normal. And her mom tells her the story of her name. And she tells her how, um, where her name came from, from Ghana. And she shares a history of how her name um, became, you know, through family and through... Um, the symbolism in Ghana and how important her name means to who she is regarding her culture and her family. And, you know, I love the idea. I love in the story where it says Ashanti is a great idea and inspiration and an innovation and a bright imagination. And, um, that made me think of my name because I didn't know what my name was. And here my mom told me that part of my name came from a type of paper that she used to work with. And of course, now I see the resemblance because I love paper. I love books. I love writing. Um, so it's, it's amazing to see how important our name is and why we are named certain names and the significance of it. So... Your name is a story to be read, to be told, to be loved all over again. And this is a great, great story to read to children who may have unique, special names. And they may be able to go to their parents and ask, like, why my name is my name. And, you know, they can learn a story. I know some of my children are named after family members who have passed away. Um, people that we loved and we cared about um, were named after different um, biblical um, names from the Bible that have specific meaning. Um, there's names from different cultures, different countries, um, different uh, languages. So this was great. And you can see the different names of her classmates, Rose and Mina as a deep Makani, Anika, Lamont, Louise. So several different names that are, may not be um, normal names, but it's great to see that this book highlights the importance of our name and how um, special our name is to us. This book is Old Friends by Margaret Atkin and illustrated by Lenny Wen. <clears throat> this story is about a little girl who she finds herself looking for friends. Um, she, we, it doesn't say that her grandmother passed away, but she has a lot of old soul characteristics or personalities. She likes to um, knit and garden and watch baking shows things like I guess an old person which is funny because things that I love so she looks she wants to look for friends but she finds a sign at a community center for a friendship group a senior citizen friend group and she wants to go because it's all the things that she enjoys um but they <clears throat> do not allow her to go in because, of course, she is a kid and not a senior citizen. So she decides to dress like a senior citizen. 
the sweaters. She puts flour and powder in her hair to make a gray glasses the whole nine. And she sneaks into the senior citizen um, party and friendship group. And it's funny that I think she looks so cute in the pictures, but she enjoys, you know, the friendship with them and the senior citizens enjoy um, her friendship. And then they do the cha-cha and she doesn't dance. And so regardless, she still has fun until her disguise comes off. And she thought because she's not really old that they would not like her. But they do. They enjoyed they enjoyed her company. And they also said that they were once kids. <laughs> they were once kids. And even though they look old, they still feel like a kid at heart, which is amazing. And so she enjoys her company. But at the end of the story, she meets another young little boy who has the same uh, personality as she does. And I'm pretty sure they make friends. And this is a great book to read, um, especially. Um, I know I recently lost my mom and my kids were very close to my mom. And you can find friends of any age. I tend to like older friends. I think some of those older those older uh, friendships, you learn a lot. They're very wise. So I thought this was a great, a great story to show that friendship come in any age, any size, any color, any race. Um, you know, friendships are friendships. I'm leaving the last, the book that I really, really enjoy. I loved all of these books, but this one, I think it's the, the, the colors and the other illustrations. It is called, We Are Water Protectors by Carol Lindstrom. And the illustrator is by My Mayella um, Gold. And this book is representation of indigenous people talking about the importance of water and how it is medicine and it nourishes us and how we should be taking care of our earth, of our environment, standing together. And the book talks about a black snake and the black snake is the oil pipeline um, that will destroy the land. And of course, we see that when there is an oil spill or the different things like that, that people that, you know, we start using, it wrecks the planet. It spills into the ocean, which affects the water and water affects everything. So, I mean, you know, we need clean drinking water. We need clean water to wash um, and cook. And so, yes, so you can see the you know the elder in the family in the tribe teaches about the 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 black snake and it says that they were foretold about it about just um pollution and destruct destruction of the earth and there is a black snake Ooh. but in order to protect the world and the land and the water, we must stand as one. We must unite. We must fight to help stand against different pollutions, different things that done to our planet. Not just the oil, but recycling and water consumption and waste. Um, and I love how it talks about not just fighting for people, but for animals who can't fight for themselves. You see the beautiful birds and stuff. So there's a mother earth. I love it. It is the pictures in here are so amazing. But this is a great representation. This book was um, found at the library because they had an indigen indigenous section due to November, indigenous month. And this is a great representation to show the children that, you know, we ought to stand together, take care of our planet, um, 
the history of indigenous people and why they fight to take care of the earth. Of course, we know the story of Christopher Columbus and different um, migrants who came over, took over the land, destroyed it, kicked the indigenous people out. So this is a great way to start those conversations with children. So yes, I love this book. The pictures were amazing. Amazing. They really bring out the story and make you uh, make you aware of what is really happening to our planet in picture book version. So yeah.